Hi folks and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at an older device and bringing it up to a new modern Android operating system. You are looking at a Dell Streak 7. This thing was previously bricked and it's now actually been recovered and fixed. A little bit of uh, history on me and my Dell Streak 7s. Uh, Dell Streak 7 was one of the first 7-inch tablets that I had after I got rid of my uh, old Nook colors. And I picked up one of these and had it around the time of the Olympics in 2012. And I accidentally destroyed it. What happened was I was trying to put the power plug in. And I put it in the wrong way and I chewed up the port. Basically in this power port down here... There is a little uh, wafer that gets the conduction from the power port. And I destroyed it to the point where it looked like a wafer cookie that was chewed on by a mouse. One whole side of it basically had like a little chunk missing. And it wasn't taking power and I thought, that's it, it's screwed. I started looking into power port repair. It was like 90 bucks. It was a complete ripoff. Screw these people. So the thing got down to like 40% power and then just idled and I said, all right, one day I'm going to sell this for parts. Well, recently I decided to kind of get back into it and I found one on eBay, this one right here, untested, cheap, like 40 bucks prior to shipping. So I said, okay, let me get this thing. And uh, I know it says untested, but it's a good price. I'll try to work on it. If it's broken or bricked, I'll sell the two of them together as a DIY kit. Use this one, take the power port out, put it in the other one, now you've got yourself a working streak. Well, this thing arrives, and I put it on the old power cord, and it doesn't charge. This light up here was blinking red. I'm like, uh-oh, wait a minute. And I look really, really closely at the power cord on it, and it's kind of a little shiny in a few spots like there's metal in the ports and I'm like well crap I think it's the cord I go back on eBay I order this cord right here it arrives for the hell of it I hook it up to the old one guess what green light I was like mother f are you kidding me that's all that it's been this entire time was the cord and not the port Sure enough, my old one with honeycomb is working. So now I have two Dell streaks, one that's working in this thing. This one was boot looping and it was coming up to the Dell. It would do the little colored burst. Every now and then it would come up to a lock screen with either Portuguese or Spanish and then it would just loop again. So this thing for all purposes was bricked. So the first thing to do in order to get your streak up to Jelly Bean is you're going to want to look in the description, the links in the thread, and you're going to want to go to the thread that mentions Twerp or Team Win Project and the recovery. You want to get the recovery that is capable of ICS before, Ice Cream Sandwich before. This one will be your recovery going forward. That is the one this Jelly Bean uses. Then you're going to want to follow the link to go ahead and get the actual Jelly Bean NB Flasher that extracted is this right here fortunately the guy who did this is extremely nice and he included the nvidia flash or apx mode drivers they're actually in here under usb pc driver when you extract it so the first thing you want to do is put um from the initial thread that has the jelly bean in it Go ahead and get the link for gaps. Put gaps on an SD card. Put the SD card in here with gaps on it. Then you're going to want to boot the device into uh, fast boot mode and go ahead and flash Team Win Recovery Project, the ICS before version. You want that on there just to be safe so that you have a recovery. We're going to need that in a little bit. Once you have the recovery installed and you have gaps on an SD card in here, and by the way, when I say SD card, it is the, um, the older, bigger kind. So you need to have something like this. You need to have the bigger adapter 
You need to either have a card this size on the right or have the adapter. So, once you've done those steps, boot the device into APX mode. To do that, you hold down volume minus, volume plus, and power. It will go ahead and boot up to the point, and it kind of looks like this in the sun over here, but it will boot up to the point where these buttons over here show up as white. They'll light up, but the screen will be black. Once you've done that, hook it up to USB either at this end or at the PC end. And in your device manager, you're probably going to get a triangle. You'll get something with a triangle over here going, hey, I don't know what the hell this is that you've connected to me, but I, I don't know what to do with it. Now, since mine is already working, and as you can see, everything is listed here properly, we're going to just take something as an example. So pretend, I'm going to use the HID keyboard device. Pretend this is the device that's flagged. You're going to want to go to it, and you're going to want to go to the driver tab. You're going to hit update driver. You're going to hit browse, which is the second option. On this screen, a lot of people might be tempted to just hit browse over here. Don't do that. Go to let me pick. And then go to have disk. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and browse to where you've extracted the zip file for the jelly bean. So... I have it on C drive, temp, here it is, CM 10.1, beta 1 win, then beta 2, then USB PC driver, and there's the file right there. That NVIDIA file is what will allow your PC to go ahead and understand how to work with the Dell Streak 7 in APX mode. So you're going to want to click on that and go through the motions of hitting OK. It may eventually come up and say, hey, are you really sure you want to do this? This isn't signed correctly. Go ahead and say, yeah, shut up, do it. It'll do it and it'll work. Now, as you can see here, this is Windows 8. There it is. Windows 8, so it works with Windows 8. I've also gotten this thing to flash a, a root a Nexus 7 back in the day. And that wasn't supposed to work, but it did for me. So there's your proof, Windows 8. And here's your proof under Device Manager. No flags, no crazy things. And, you know, there's a device hooked up. So I'm not kidding. Windows 8, it works. Once the PC understands what to do, you're going to want to go to this one. Install JB Alpha and double-click on it. It's a batch file. If Windows comes up and says smart screen is protecting you from getting fucked in the A, go ahead and say more info and then say run it anyway. It'll come up to a DOS window. It'll go through its gyrations for a couple minutes. Once everything is done, you'll know it's done because it disappears. It'll actually close the command prompt and your screen will be back to normal. As you can see here, nothing down on the start bar. It's gone. So, once it's done, you're going to want to go ahead and boot the Jelly Bean up one time. The Jelly Bean ROM here on the Dell Streak 7. Boot it up once, hit the power button down as soon as you get control, and say power down. Once you get to that, you're going to want to boot it into recovery by holding volume down, which is on the left side, and power. Ta-da! There's the boot menu. So, what you can do is go ahead and you can actually pick factory reset, but don't worry about it. It's not going to reset anything. It's just going to be the quickest command to get us into. You'll see it in a second. Ta-da! There's Team Win. So, once Team Win comes up, you're going to go ahead and instructions mention mount. We're going to go ahead and mount the SD card, or actually, um, should let me do it. Hopefully, it 
will let me do it. It might not. Using external, yeah, it's not going to like the SD card. I noticed that before. Well, what you could do, oh, wait, it just flashed for a second there. Yeah, what you could do is you could flash it over to using external SD and then go ahead and flash your gaps that's on there. Or you could even do it under ADB side load. Probably do it that way too. But for some reason, it's not allowing me to. Yeah, it's not allowing me to mount the SD card. But we'll go ahead and skip that for now. We'll, we'll come back to that. We'll go to reboot the system. And I'll just show you what it's like for this thing to come up. It won't have the Google Apps, but I'll have to find a way around that. So, initially when I got this device, it looked bricked. It came up to this Dell. And then it would give you the little Dell color flash. And as you can see here, now we're getting the Cyanogen Mod logo. And here's the lock screen. We'll go ahead and unlock it. And look, look at this. We will be sitting here. Yeah, yeah, I know. About tablet 4.2.1. There you go, 4.2.1. Givine for the kernel version. That's the guy who's doing all this work. And basically what you want to do from here is it was recommended that you, you know, obviously flash gaps in recovery and then go to the Play Store and get yourself GUIM, install GUIM, tell it to look for updates under his Jelly Streak folder. And there you go. And now you're set. And some things that you can do with Jelly Bean is I believe like you have the um, yeah, you've got widgets on the lock screen, you have uh, extra things under display like the daydream, so you can have clock, uh, yeah, you can have clock on there, let's see what it'll power it off, power it back on, there's the clock for daydream, one of the nifty things about Jelly Bean 4.2. So. Here's Jelly Bean 4.2 running on a Dell Streak 7. This is Tegra 2 territory over here, so nifty little development. So, check out the links in the description. Go ahead and get yourself the files. I'll run through the steps again. Step 1, get Team Win Recovery Project. Put it on your computer. Fast boot this device by volume up and power and use the commands to flash that recovery. Once you've gotten that recovery, go ahead and go to the thread that mentions Jelly Bean. In there, there's two downloads. There's actual, there's the Jelly Bean flasher and there's gaps. Put gaps on the SD card. Put on, basically you're gonna extract the Jelly Bean one to your PC. Install the driver for NVIDIA flash mode Put the thing in NVIDIA flash mode with volume up, volume down, and power. The white lights over here will light up. Once you've gotten that, hook it up to the computer via USB. Set the drivers on your PC to understand flash mode. And then go ahead and run the batch file in that directory. It'll flash. Boot it up once. Power it down. Go ahead and flash Google Apps. And then boot it back up, and you're all set. You will be at Jelly Bean on a Dell Streak 7. So, hope you enjoyed my first tutorial video. Usually I show you the finished results, but this is kind of an example of the actual process. Uh, and hope you enjoyed it. And if you got a Dell Streak 7, go ahead and try to take it up to Jelly Bean. Let's see about the camera. 
because there's often issues with cameras on these things when there is development. Oh, it doesn't even list a camera app. Interesting. Oh well. So, uh, yeah. There you go. Camera might be risky. Hope you enjoyed the video.